One day after being recaptured, Eric Abril is set to be arraigned next week. He's facing new charges in connection with that escape from Sutter Roseville Medical Center on Sunday morning. There he is being taken into custody. He's already charged with killing a hostage and injuring another along with a CHP officer at Roseville's Mahaney Park back in April. The sheriff's office has not real, revealed any new information about how he was able to escape. But as you know, he was captured yesterday in Rockland in an area where people walk, run, even fish. So we're talking about the green belts popular along the Rockland area. They sure are. And CBS 13's Tori Apodaca joining us live from Rockland, getting answers if better management could have helped with this manhunt. Tori. Well, a recent survey shows that 86% of Roseville residents do feel safe while out in open nature spaces like this or walking along the city trails. But even though the suspected murderer, Eric Abril, was found hiding along this green belt, people tell me that it's not going to stop them from coming out here. But it does have them questioning if the overgrown vegetation you can see around me did impact the manhunt. It resulted in a criminal hiding in the spot because of poor management. A green belt turned hiding spot for suspected murderer Eric Abril. You're not going to have these guys flying around spending 30 hours chasing some jack wagon, spending all of our tax dollars if the stuff was, they could see what was going on and everything wasn't so overgrown. But could better vegetation management have helped with the manhunt? The answer, not quite. The Rockland Police Department says even if all the vegetation was clear, the creek bed still has cutbacks on the walls, which someone could hide in. So there's always uh, the one-offs or the anomalies that could happen, but overall they're very safe. You know, feel very safe out here. Disc golfer Todd Mitchell says even in the midst of the manhunt. For all of us playing, where there was really no concern, we were just... We weren't worried about someone, you know, out here. It's supposed to be protected land or it's just nature and you want it to remain that way. We don't want to litter it with signage, you know, and things that would take away from that. But cutting back brush with sheep and goats plus creating fire breaks is still a priority. Yeah, it's sad. You know, we want to be, you know, raising a kid in the area. You want him to be safe. The recent manhunt does have some walking with just a little more caution while on these trails. I definitely would not let Allie out here, my wife out here, go for a run without my dog or me. Now, Harillo says that the green belts in Rockland and Roseville have seen very little crime over the years, although he says police have been cracking down on homeless encampments, clearing those out, and also making sure trash does not end up in the streams or the soil.